Tiga peraturan di present perfect continuous tense agar grammar kamu semakin rapi. Satu. Emphasizing duration atau penekanan terhadap durasi dalam hal ini waktu itu I have been living in this city for 5 years She has been working at that company since 2010 Perhatikan penggunaan antara for dan since di sini Agak sedikit tricky ya teman-teman Lengkapnya ada di caption Untuk sekarang, lanjut ke peraturan nomor 2 Yaitu repetition of action atau tindakan yang berulang Contohnya We have been meeting for coffee Every Friday, he has been visiting his grandparents regularly. Kata yang menunjukkan pengulangan di sini adalah every dan regularly. Dan ketiga adalah temporary situation atau situasi yang hanya bersifat sementara. She has been living with us while her house is being renovated. I have been using my friend's car while mine is in the shop. Nah, itulah tiga peraturan present perfect continuous tense. Grammar ini tidak hanya berguna untuk speaking, namun juga untuk writing. Hmm, tapi sepertinya ada yang kurang. Karena contoh yang di atas merupakan contoh positive sentences atau statements. Lalu bagaimana dengan negative dan juga questions? Berikut contohnya. Thank you for watching. Follow for more English contents. Tiga peraturan di present perfect continuous tense agar grammar kamu semakin rapi. Satu. Emphasizing duration atau penekanan terhadap durasi dalam hal ini waktu itu I have been living in this city for 5 years She has been working at that company since 2010 Perhatikan penggunaan antara for dan since di sini Agak sedikit tricky ya teman-teman Lengkapnya ada di caption Untuk sekarang, lanjut ke peraturan nomor 2 Yaitu repetition of action atau tindakan yang berulang Contohnya We have been meeting for coffee every Friday He has been visiting his grandparents regularly Kata yang menunjukkan pengulangan di sini adalah Every dan regularly. Dan ketiga adalah temporary situation atau situasi yang hanya bersifat sementara. She has been living with us while her house is being renovated. I have been using my friend's car while mine is in the shop. Nah, itulah tiga peraturan present perfect continuous tense. Grammar ini tidak hanya berguna untuk speaking, namun juga untuk writing. Hmm, tapi sepertinya ada yang kurang. Karena contoh yang di atas merupakan contoh positive sentences atau statements. Lalu bagaimana dengan negative dan juga questions? Berikut contohnya. Thank you for watching. Follow for more English contents. Perbedaan pengucapan kata antara American and British English. Satu. Mirror. Mirror. Dua. Plunger. Plunger. Tiga. Towel. Towel. Empat. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Lima. Razor. Razor. Cara lain mengatakan Goodbye Satu So long Dua Bye bye Tiga Farewell Empat Take care Lima Until we meet again Kata-kata bahasa Inggris yang sulit diucapkan oleh orang Indonesia Satu Choir Dua Squirrel Tiga Q Empat Temperature Lima Literally Perbedaan pengucapan kata antara American and British English satu, supermarket, supermarket. Dua, container, container. Tiga, color, color. Empat, flower, flower. Lima, visitor, visitor. Perbedaan pengucapan kata antara American and British English. Satu, morning, morning. Dua, afternoon, afternoon. Tiga, evening, evening. Empat, night, night. Lima. Midnight. Midnight. Perbedaan pengucapan kata antara American and British English. Satu. Fork. Fork. Dua. Plate. Plate. Tiga. Spoon. Spoon. Empat. Mug. Mug. Lima. Bottle. Bottle. Perbedaan pengucapan kata antara American and British English. Satu. Computer. Computer. Dua. Desk. Desk. Tiga. Stapler. Stapler. Empat. Paper. Paper. Lima. Calculator. Calculator. Lengkapi jiran. 
setelah preposisi berikut ini dalam bahasa Inggris. Lima frasa untuk meminta bantuan dalam bahasa Inggris. Satu, Can you help me with this, please? Dua, I'm having some trouble. Could you lend me a hand? Tiga, Do you mind helping me out with this task? Empat, I'm not sure what to do. Can you provide some help? Lima, If you have a moment, I could use your help. Thank you for watching. Cara mengucapkan terima kasih dalam bahasa Inggris selain thank you. 1. Appreciate it. 2. Thanks a bunch. 3. Many thanks. 4. You're a lifesaver. 5. I owe you my gratitude. Cara merespon terima kasih dalam bahasa Inggris selain You're welcome. Satu. No problem. Dua. Certainly. Tiga. Anytime. Empat. My pleasure. Lima. Don't mention it. Cara lain menanyakan apa kabar dalam bahasa Inggris selain How are you? Satu How are you doing? Dua How's everything going? Tiga How's life treating you? Empat How have you been? Lima What's new? Lima frasa kata kerja atau verb phrases yang perlu kamu tahu. Satu, catch up. Example, let's grab a coffee and catch up sometime this week. Dua, hang out example, we should hang out at the park this weekend. Tiga, figure out example, I need some time to figure out how to fix this issue. Empat, run out example, I need to go to the store because we've run out of milk. Lima. Put off example. I had to put off the meeting until tomorrow because of a scheduling conflict. Cara meminta maaf dalam bahasa Inggris selain. I'm sorry. Satu. My apologies. Dua. I'm truly sorry. Tiga. It was my fault. Sorry. Empat. Please, forgive me. Lima. I owe you an apology. Homonym. Pengucapan sama, tapi artinya beda. Satu. Bark. The dog barks. The bark of the tree feels rough. Dua. Bat. A flying bat. He swings the baseball bat. Tiga. Bank. At the bank. By the river bank. Empat. Bear. A bear. I can't bear this anymore. Lima. Fair. A fair decision. Let's go to the city fair. Cara lain mengatakan aku suka kamu dalam bahasa Inggris selain I like you. Satu. I'm fond of you. Dua. I'm into you. Tiga. I fancy you. Empat. I'm drawn to you. Lima. I adore you. Cara lain mengatakan I think dalam bahasa Inggris. Satu. I believe. I believe that the team can win the championship this year. Dua. In my opinion, in my opinion, the new policy is a positive step forward. Tiga. I feel that. I feel that we should consider alternative solutions. Empat. I reckon. I reckon we should start planning for the event. Lima. From my perspective, from my perspective, the project is going well.
Cara lain mengatakan saya merasa bosan, selain I'm bored. Satu, I'm feeling uninterested. Dua, I'm feeling uninspired. Tiga, I'm not entertained. Empat, I'm finding this tedious. Lima, I'm feeling disengaged. Perbedaan kosakata antara American and British English. Satu, eggplant, aubergine. Dua, faucet, tap. Tiga, French fries, chips. Empat, elevator, lift. Lima, ladybug, ladybird. Kuis Grammar, Bahasa Inggris, Conditional Sentences atau Kalimat Pengandaian. Kata-kata bahasa Inggris yang orang Indonesia sering salah pengucapannya. Satu, mischievous. Dua, prestigious. Tiga, examine. Empat, accept. Lima, accept. Enam, anemone. Beberapa kata dari penyiar di game Mobile Legends. Part dua, satu. An enemy has been slain. Dua, an ally has been slain. Tiga, double kill. Empat, triple kill. Lima, unstoppable. Beberapa kata dari penyiar di game Mobile Legends. Part 3. 1. Killing Spree. 2. Mega Kill. 3. Monster Kill. 4. Godlike. 5. Legendary. Beberapa kata dari penyiar di game Mobile Legends. Part 3. 1. Killing Spree. 2. Mega Kill. 3. Monster Kill. 4. Godlike. 5. Legendary. Beberapa kata dari penyiar di game Mobile Legends. 1. Welcome to Mobile Legend. 2. 5 second till the enemy reaches the battlefield, smash them. 3. All troops deployed. 4. First blood. 5. You have slain an enemy. Kosa kata yang berkaitan dengan bulan. 1. New moon. 2. Waxing crescent. 3. First quarter. 4. Waxing gibbous. 5. Full moon. 6. Waning gibbous. 7. Last quarter. 8. Waning crescent. Berikut beberapa ungkapan dalam bahasa Inggris untuk mengucapkan Selamat Tahun Baru. Selain Happy New Year. Wishing you a joyous new year. Cheers to the upcoming year. May the new year bring you prosperity and success. May the coming year be your best one yet. Wishing you a year filled with love and laughter. May the new year be a time of growth prosperity, and happiness for you. Beberapa alasan kamu tidak perlu terdengar seperti native saat bicara bahasa Inggris. Pertama, it's all about clear communication. Tidak masalah seberapa bagus aksen British kamu, yang kita selalu kira bahwa uh, British English itu lebih, you know, polite, proper, so posh, whatever. If you're being understood, That means your message is clear. That means your English is fine. Your learning goals. Apa sih tujuan kamu belajar bahasa Inggris? Kademi ya, biasanya speaking tidak terlalu diprioritaskan, tapi lebih ke writing dan juga reading. Listening pastinya karena biasanya kita selalu mendengarkan uh, lecture dari profesor kita. Tiga adalah proficiency over perfection. Kenapa kita selalu beracun terhadap native speaker dan beranggapan bahwa Inggris mereka sempurna? Tidak selalu. Dunia sosial media biasanya banyak yang melakukan spelling mistakes. Seperti your menjadi your atau them ditulis then should have malah ditulis should of 
Yeah. Focusing on expressing yourself clearly and being understood rather than striving for native like pronunciation. Dan yang terakhir mungkin lebih fokus ke vocabulary. Karena saya punya pengalaman berteman dengan uh, native speaker dan kebetulan dia British dan dia tidak tahu arti kata dari destitution which has similar meaning to poverty yang artinya kemiskinan. See, tidak semua native speaker itu uh, bahasa Inggrisnya perfect. Thank you for watching. Follow for more English contents. Kata-kata bahasa Inggris yang sering salah pengucapan oleh orang Indonesia. Satu, cupboard. Dua, etc. Tiga, Wednesday. Empat, sweet. Lima, pronunciation. Kata-kata bahasa Inggris yang sering salah pengucapan oleh orang Indonesia. Satu, salon. Dua, reservoir. Tiga, rendezvous. Empat, regime. Lima, paradigm. Perbedaan pengucapan kata antara American and British English. Satu, water. Water. Dua, car. Car. Tiga, tomato. Tomato. Empat, park. Park. Lima, bear. Bear. Kata-kata yang berkaitan dengan Ramadan dalam bahasa Inggris. Satu, sahur. Dua, iftar. Tiga, recite the Quran. Empat, killing time. Lima, Fasting. Cara menggunakan istilah repot-repot dalam bahasa Inggris. Satu. Don't bother asking him. He won't know the answer anyway. Dua. Why bother trying to explain it to him? He never listens. Tiga. It's not worth the bother anymore. Empat. Please don't bother. I'll handle that. Lima. She didn't even bother to call and let us know. Tips lancar berbahasa Inggris versi ChatGPT. Practice regularly. Immerse yourself. Read widely. Speak as much as possible. Expand your vocabulary. How is your paper coming along? My typewriter is broken. What does the man mean? Have you tried Susan's apple pie? I got the last piece, and it was out of this world. What does the man mean? If you're staying late, will you be sure to look up the office when you leave? Okay, I hope I won't be more than an hour. What does the man mean? Nancy really wants to ski on Thursday. Yes, but she can't, can she? What does the man say about Nancy? Let me help you with those packages. Thanks, but it is only three quarters of a block. What does the woman tell the man? Perbedaan pengucapan antara American and British English. Satu. Either. Either. Dua. Neither. Neither. Tiga, examiner, examiner. Empat, answer, answer. Lima, courage, courage. Perbedaan kosakata antara American and British English. Satu, eraser, rubber. Dua, schedule, timetable. Tiga, test, exam. Empat, a grade, a mark. Lima, principal, headmaster. Perbedaan kosakata antara American and British English. Satu, sweater, jumper. Dua, pants, trousers. Tiga, diaper, nappy. Empat, vest, waistcoat. Lima, sneakers, trainers. Belajar kosakata hewan ternak. Satu, chicken. Dua, cow. Tiga, duck. Empat, turkey. Lima, sheep. Enam, goose. Tujuh, goat. Delapan, rooster. Sembilan, rabbit. Sepuluh, horse. Perbedaan kosakata antara American and British English. Satu, windshield. Windscreen. Dua, license plate. Number plate. Tiga, trunk. Boot. Empat, antenna. Aerial. Lima, hood. Bonnet.